Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. So recently I've been talking to some people about getting out of on and off relationships and a recurring theme that's always involved in breakups is you know on and off stuff and also um, repetitive same type of person keeps on showing up in one's life dating the same kind of person over and over again. And then I explain to you people that it's the reason this happens is because of inner child work. And then, you know, this is obviously a game changer to learn about how the subconscious mind is actually ruling our lives, how our inner child is actually ruling our decisions, our romantic partner choices, our career choices, um, etc. And so it gives us a lot of our power back and it gives us more sovereignty over our lives. But the question always is how? How do I bridge? A subconscious mind that is always picking these toxic partners or always wanting to go back to the same person over and over again and the, and the conscious mind, the logical mind, which knows that it's not the best and most healthiest choice. So yeah, I, did, I have talked about like on and off relationships and things like this in my previous videos, but this video is more about like how to uh, actually bridge those two with tapping because tapping is my favorite, one of my favorite methods in bridging the subconscious mind and the conscious mind. So if this is you, if you're in a on and off situation which you want to get rid of or you want to transcend and you haven't been able to yet or you know you keep on going back to the same kind of uh, person, this tapping is for you. And you can also check out my previous videos that have, gives like more information on these phenomenons or phenomena I guess, plural. <laughs> okay, so we begin at the karate chop point. Even though I keep on going back to my ex, or I keep on dating the same type of person over and over again. And I just don't know why I do this. Why do I keep torturing myself by going back to the same person over and over again, even though I know it's not going to work out? Or why do I keep on picking the same type of person who's probably toxic? Maybe emotionally unavailable, maybe cheats, maybe is overly critical. Whatever the pattern is, whether it's with the same ex or with the same type of person, I just don't know why I keep on doing this. Or I do know why. It's my subconscious mind and my inner child. But even though I might know why, I still can't seem to stop this pattern and I feel so frustrated with myself sometimes that I get caught up in this I think to myself why don't I know better but even though I get stuck in these patterns of either going back to my ex or dating the same type of person over and over again I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Beating myself up, beating myself up over my choices is not going to help me. Going back and forth between should I or should I not is also not going to help me. I need to bridge the part of myself that goes for the same type of relationship over and over again with a part of myself that wants to change this pattern. I need to create a dialogue between my adult self and my inner child who keeps on going for these relationships. I need to reparent them and I need to be in solidarity and partnership with them. I know my inner child is trying to resolve something from the past that's why she keeps on going for the for the same ex or the same partners over and over again. And I know now that I don't need to seek that what my inner child is looking for in a partner because I can give it to them. I can give my inner child what they're looking for in my partner or my ex or my old partners or a certain type of person that I keep on going back to. I 
and give my inner child what they truly deserve. And stop this cycle of seeking it from everywhere else but me. I'm committing to working with my inner child and to breaking these patterns so that I can access that wholeness within myself instead of seeking it out in others and in toxic or unhealthy relationships. Because I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. Committed to do the work, to love up on my inner child, to treat her with treat them with compassion and understanding and curiosity. To build a better way forward because I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. And though it might be challenging sometimes, although sometimes it might be really tempting to go back to the old patterns, I won't judge myself for being tempted or for maybe even slipping once in a while. But I know my overall trajectory is to break these patterns. Because I deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. There's other tapping there. And as always, customize that to what your specific situation is. Go through all of the nitty gritty, all of the raw, painful emotions that you're feeling. Release them and then, move, and then replace it with what you do want. So I hope that's helpful and let me know how it goes if you would like to. I'll catch you next week. Goodbye.